like and subscribe otherwise i might pay you guys a visit right so this is the post fight review of maddie askin versus lawrence acoli for the british cruiserweight title and for whatever reason i thought that the commonwealth title was going to be on the line as well but apparently it wasn't which of course lawrence acoli won last time out against luke watkins now, for those of you guys who remember watching Lawrence O'Coley versus Isaac Chamberlain, the way it was pretty much like a hug fest, very, a bit of a boring fight at times. Well, this one had seeds of that kind of fight to it. But whereas you could probably blame um, Isaac Chamberlain for that one, on this one, you have to pretty much put the blame with Lawrence O'Coley, right? Um, but it was still entertaining. I'm not going to say that it wasn't. The Isaac Chamberlain fight wasn't so entertaining, but this one was. Um, Matty Askin, of course, is the experienced one. Um, he's been in there with over 30 fights. And Lawrence O'Coley, of course, very much a novice in the pro game. But Lawrence O'Coley, he was cheating. Would that be the right word to put? Yeah, probably. Because he was just making this fight messy. Now, it's okay to do the odd thing here and there. That's a little bit um, illegal, should we say. Going with a head hold a bit longer than maybe you should. But this was pretty much the theme right the way through the fight and it was Lawrence O'Coley doing the holding but at the same time we could argue that Matty Askin wasn't making it a pretty fight in himself as in he wasn't trying to throw punches until he was close to O'Coley but whenever he was close to O'Coley O'Coley would just grab him so you could probably put some blame with Matty Askin on this one as well the fact that he wasn't even trying to punch on the outside in fact in the very first round I only recall Matty Askin hitting Lawrence O'Coley one time and again that was in the clinch when he did it with a short left hook but again that was it that's all he'd done in round number one but for the rest of the fight listen this was a very very dominant display by Lawrence O'Coley but that's because he made it very very messy but he did lose a couple of rounds in this one and I think that's only because he got um, points deducted in round number five eight and eleven for excessive holding, going in with the head, using the shoulder, um, just making it absolutely unnecessary, which I don't think Lawrence O'Coley really needed to do because I think that, especially with the way that he was starting when in round number one, he was hitting Askin with some quality body shots and some real powerful shots. And I didn't see that Lawrence O'Coley needed to make this kind of fight. He had the power, he's got the foot movement and he is gifted. Let's not be, be kidding ourselves here. Lawrence O'Coley is gifted. He really is, but you know what? Matty Askin is the British champion. He said that this is a step too far for Lawrence O'Coley. No, it's not a step too far, unless, of course, Matty Askin is on the way down. You know, um, I think that Matty Askin, you know, okay, so he's got like a couple of losses on his record, but he's a decent fighter, okay? And But the problem is, is that he wasn't throwing enough punches at all in this entire fight. The only time he was doing it was when he was up close in the clinch and hitting him, Lawrence O'Coley with some body shots. He caught him with a couple of good hooks, but Lawrence O'Coley was absolutely fine with it. There was no problems. But O'Coley just, he was overpowering Askin, which is unusual because Askin is allegedly the, more, not the stronger guy in this fight. But you know what? In some ways, O'Coley did what he had to do because at some point he's going to have opponents do this to him, much like Isaac Chamberlain was to a point. But the difference is O'Coley was actually throwing punches. But O'Coley would throw a punch here and there, then tie him up, get him in a headlock, um, push him back to the rope, grab him, all that kind of thing. So I think Lawrence O'Coley did what he had to do to win the title. But I don't know why he didn't go really for the knockout. But at the same time, again, I'm, I'm, I am going to contradict myself here a little bit because Lawrence O'Coley did land with some pretty decent flush shots and Askin took them pretty well so you know big up to Matty Askin for taking those shots but I don't know I mean three points docked on three different rounds is I think Lawrence O'Coley was lucky just to get that to be honest and hey listen I'm a huge fan of Lawrence O'Coley and I think Lawrence O'Coley will be world champion at some point and quite how he makes his way I'm not too sure it wouldn't surprise me if he goes to heavyweight but, yeah, I mean, Lawrence O'Coley wins this fight, of course. Of course he won this fight, but he made it a very, very messy fight, which he didn't need to do, in my opinion. Um, it's one of those fights that is interesting, but, you know, Lawrence O'Coley needs to be working a bit more skill set because he does have the skills and he does have the movement. He is so awkward and so powerful. He doesn't need to do all this holding and headbutting and shoulder. As I said, do it once in a while. He, 
you know what, it's part and parcel of the game. Okay, but to do it every few seconds of every single round, all barring round number one, even round number one, I suppose you could say it, but I wasn't noticing it too much. I was just thinking, okay, this is pretty good. You know, they're both coming in to engage. Although Matty Askin just wasn't throwing punches. And yeah, for me, Lawrence Coley, yeah. He deserved to win this one, but ultimately, some say he, maybe he should have been disqualified for this one, and I can't argue too much with it. But you know what? Lawrence O'Coley, for me, he'd done enough to win this one, even though he did make it very, very dirty. So anyway, Lawrence O'Coley, the new British cruiserweight champion. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, and subscribe. Catch you all on the very next video.